Hey everybody, welcome to Active Self Protection Extra here again with my friend Adam Winch from Defenders USA at C2 Tactical, my home range in Scottsdale. And we're out at a public range, kind of quasi-public today yeah. because we're at the 338 Club, it's quiet today. But one of the things that I hear people talking about all the time is they're like, John, I can't really use a timer because when I go to my public range, it's too loud and I, I, I just can't use it. And that is when the Mantis X10 really starts to shine. Many thanks to Magtech Ammunition for sponsoring today's video. It's the only ammunition that goes through my pistols or rifles and is the best stuff on the range. So I use this all the time. And Adam, you said you have this problem when you go to an indoor range. Yeah, I have a sound activated timer. Yeah. So I use one of our indoor ranges there. And though it's segregated off like this is, the people next door, right, tend to set off my timer to where it messes everything up. Yeah, you really gotta go, okay, wait, uh, uh, is everybody quiet for a yeah. minute so I can run a time drill or whatever? Um, but if you're using the X10, and you guys know Mantis is the longest uh, running sponsor of active self protection. In fact, they were our very first, and we love these folks. Uh, they, they make an incredible product that we use all the time. Come and join our dry fire group. It's life changing uh, in terms of, of your shooting skills. But I think one of the underutilized parts is the shot timer. They have a live fire shot timer, and so I'm using this on a magazine floor plate adapter. Um, and the fact of the matter is they make HK ones because they love me. And and, <laughs> and they 3D print them because they love me. I, mean, I need one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I have a couple at home, so okay. we'll make sure you get one. Um, and so this allows me to do holster draws. This allows me to do everything that I want to do. So this is all I've got is now I've got this guy set up as a shot timer. And uh, I can set this guy up. Now you might go, but John, I have a hard time hearing when it's time to, to go, right? So watch, I hit the shooter ready. See the big flash? That's a visual indicator, right? So not only can I uh, hear it, now again, you gotta turn your volume up for all that stuff, but if I'm in a loud environment and I can't, or if you are hearing impaired, uh, you've got a visual ghost signal, ah, which gotcha. is super helpful, right? It's one of the things we do with the Range Tech timer as well, but of course the Range Tech is an audible and audio timer, whereas this is a, a recoil meter timer. So let's try a few and I'll show you what it's like. Tell you what I wanna do. I just wanna run um, a, a draw and fire one to the head. Okay. okay. So we are at seven yards and we're gonna get one shot in the eyeballs, all right? That's all I'm gonna work on right now. So, magazine in the gun, gun forward, Safely, carefully holster. So cool, right? So because I'm using the magazine floor plate adapter, I just put the gun in its holster. Now, I know some people are like, yeah, but that feels a little different or my concealment's a little different. I mean, it's small. It's small and you can get a holster that, that is like light bearing and those things. That to me is a bigger pain in the tush than just putting up with this. So let's see what we got here. All right, John, let's get some headshots. Don't shoot your iPad, Korea. safely, carefully holster, and you can see here, pull the 164. Now again, that 164 is not, um, is not something that, that you're like, oh, I'm super impressed with or proud of or whatever. And it's at, you know, again, I, I'm at seven yards, all right? So that was a pretty good headshot, right? I'm, I'm, I'm perfectly comfortable with putting it right inside his left eyeball uh, at, at seven yards. And here's the interesting bit. It actually gave me a good score too. So that was a score of a 74.7. Uh, so if we could stop that, we can, we can take a look at that, at that score. You can see where uh, in that last hundredth of a second, I was wandering just a little bit, but acceptably, right? Because yeah. I, I put it where I want. And when you're uh, an intermediate to advanced shooter shooting headshots quickly, you're gonna be shooting on the move. The, your sights are gonna be moving. There's no way they're, they're stationary. But really what I'm looking at here is, is I'm looking at, okay, it took me uh, that, that one point six, seven seconds or whatever. So let's run a couple more, right? So I, I like this because it's not about the audio. It, so there'll be 15 people shooting next to me and it's working. Let's put that back out to 21 feet. So I also have a Mantis X, right? Full disclosure, I got it from Mantis X. Sure. And uh, I've been playing with it recently. I actually had not thought to use this as a recoil timer versus a sound timer. This is a great way to use this. I hadn't, hadn't even thought of I, this. I think it's just a really helpful way in this environment, right? So, I mean, you saw me, we've done a bunch of videos and uh, here today and we use our range tech all the time. And I love my range tech timer. It gives me great data and all those but things. But it's sound activated, there's people next door. Sound activated. So if there's somebody on this lane over here or that lane there that's shooting, Sometimes good, sometimes not so good. Whereas this guy, when I get into those environments, I always bring my man of sex to the range because then if I go, hey, I need to actually do this, then I can do it. So let's do something like a build drill. Okay.
Oh, that build drill sucked. But that's only because I can't shoot. <laughs> so finally, you miss. Finally. I do it all the time. 2.67, right? <laughs> so a 141 first shot, missed my dot. That just caused me to do all kinds of crazy stuff. So too high up here. I'll call these ones alphas, but two Charlies. Um, and so that's a terrible build drill. That's like barely a, a dark pin run. <laughs> uh, terrible for me, but is what it is, right? So what I found for my students is that because ammo is so hard to find right now, I've been recommending to them, and I always have, but I've been recommending even stronger, go get a Mantis X. Oh, right? yeah. Because the dry you fire. can do so much stuff to maintain your training without having to blow a lot of smoke and all right, make bang noises with very expensive things, right. like bullets. Right. So I think, uh, I really do think, all right? So that was not my world's best build drill. Uh, and you can tell me how I suck in the comments. That's fine. Um, <laughs> but... Uh, I love this shot timer app and the recoil meter and all those things uh, on live fire because it's not using sound. And so if I'm in a busy range, we're not today, but I wanted to show you that. Uh, if I'm in those kind of environments, I think, man, give it a try. I think it's a very helpful tool for you for that perspective. And it extends its usefulness past dry fire yeah. into my live fire experience. Yeah.